We are just back from a seven night stay in Salou, somewhere I have been visiting for the last 20 years, but I keep coming back to this resort because I absolutely love it. This was our first trip booked since the pandemic. We did actually have a holiday booked in 2020, but obviously that got cancelled. So we were eager to get back because we hadn't been here since 2017. So we were excited to see how things had changed. We booked with Tui and we were staying at the Salou Princess Hotel. Um, I have done a separate video on the hotel and my thoughts and feelings about it. So do check that out if you are due to stay here on your next holiday. There is so much to do in Salou and the surrounding area. So this is a mini resort guide of some hints and tips or things to check out in case you're coming here on your next holiday or thinking about booking. The first thing I would suggest picking up on your first day in resort is one of these cards. Um, it's similar to an Oyster card in London and it allows you to use the local bus transportation. You can purchase them from any of the bus planner shops that are located in and around the resort and you only need one per family which is great especially if you've got a few people in your group. We were two girls on holiday so we knew that we only needed a certain amount of trips and the card that we got was 10 euro and this included our first 10 trips. You can still use cash on the buses but this is just so much easier. All you do is tap the card onto the blue reader, tell the driver how many people are in your group and then you go and sit down. It works out around one euro per journey which is actually cheaper than it would be if you were paying in cash. If you fancy a trip out I do recommend getting the bus to Tarragona. It is about a 25 minute journey and it is a local city. Um, the bus will drop you off in the main city centre at the bus station um, and from there there is plenty for you to explore. If you like history, there's also some awesome ancient ruins that still remain within the city centre itself, including a really lovely amphitheatre that faces the Mediterranean Sea. All you need to do is just head out of the bus station and you will find them. They're literally dotted all around the city centre, as well as also some restaurants and lovely bars as well. If you like shopping, there is a massive shopping centre located roughly a 10 minute walk from the bus station. Inside you'll find many branded shops such as H&M, The Body Shop and on the lower level a massive Primark. Primark wasn't actually here the last time we did visit so it was nice to see something new. We were intrigued to see what they had on sale as opposed to the UK as well and we did actually find some bargains, things that they didn't have on sale back home but they did here so we would definitely recommend checking it out. It's a really big store and really well laid out. If you need a pit stop, they do have a food court located on the first floor and, and they have things like McDonald's and also Dunkin' Donuts, which is where we stopped on this occasion and it was great, so I do recommend that. If you love theme parks, I would definitely recommend Port Aventura World. It's split into two theme parks, the main park, which is Port Aventura, and the secondary park, which is Ferrari Land. If you have access requirements, I do recommend visiting guest services on your way into the actual theme park. They will then give you a wristband that will allow you to enter via the exit of every ride. You will need to show some kind of proof such as your blue badge, um, but this is very easy. All you need to do is show it to them and then they will register for that day. And it allows you and up to three other people to go in the exit with you. The main park is split into four parts, China, Polynesia, Wild West and Mexico. There really is something for everybody within this park. There's big rides for the adults, there's smaller kids rides as well within Sesame Street especially. Um, one of my favourites is Shambhala, so if you love your roller coaster, definitely get on Shambhala and sit front row. I recommend that, it is absolutely amazing. There is also plenty to do for people that don't necessarily like roller coasters. There are shows as well. And if you download the app when you are at the theme park, it will let you know what time the shows are running throughout the day. I know that when we were there, the theme park was open from 10 a.m. until 11 p.m. at night, and they do a nighttime spectacular, but this is during peak time only. So I would recommend checking it out to see if this is on when you are there. We purchased our tickets in advance from Attraction Tickets Direct. They were gate ready tickets, so it meant that we didn't have to queue when we arrived at the theme park. Having used them before, I knew that we would have no issues. The ticket costs £46 for one day's entry. However, you can get park hopper tickets and longer length tickets as well. I will link them below, so check them out.
Sulu does have some amazing beaches in and around resort but these do get quite busy. Something I would recommend is taking a walk towards Cambrils. Now this is a walk that we actually do every time that we are in resort and we start at the Sulu sign and we just follow the path all the way along towards Cambrils. The beaches en route are actually really lovely and sometimes you may be the only one on the beach itself so this is why I always recommend to just take a walk and um, of course you don't have to walk you can get the local bus as well but you do see a lot en route so you do actually pass the old town of Salou as well and what we do is we always stop midway so we will stop in Cambrils at one of the bars there and then we just continue walking. Um, you can also hire um, some e-scooters and also bikes to do it as well. But if you did want to walk, the whole entire journey, including stopping, does take about three hours. Um, but it is, as I say, it is a lovely walk and we make sure that we do it every time because it's just something different and it's just a lovely stroll along the seafront. Cambrils itself is actually one of our favourite places to visit. You'll find the harbour there which does do excursions out to sea as well. They do like a catamaran which we do recommend, we've been on that a couple of times. Um, but also it's just really, really lovely. It's a little less touristy so you obviously have more localised bars and restaurants but there's also plenty of things to see in history as well. But yeah, if you want a little bit more quieter than Salou itself, I would definitely recommend taking a visit down to Cambrils. Salou, in my opinion, is really easy to navigate. If you just head towards the beach area, that is where you will find the hustle and bustle. You'll find your restaurants, your pubs, your clubs, your shops, anything you could possibly need. And there's plenty of supermarkets there as well. A couple of places I would recommend, especially if you are missing your home comforts, are Gabbers, which we like to call Weatherspoons in the Sun, and also the Robin Hood, which also do a lovely roast dinner. If you're looking for something to do in the evening, Sulu really does have something for everyone. There is plenty of clubs and bars and restaurants to visit. Um, one of our favourites is Danny Boy's. There is live music here every evening. Everyone is up for a laugh. Um, the drinks are great. Um, the food is great as well. If you do have a chance, do check that out. Um, and we just make sure we come here every time we are in Sulu. Something a little different and if you love the cabaret scene, I would definitely recommend Chaplin's. They do multiple shows throughout the evening, every day of the week, including kids shows as well. And honestly, there is something for everybody. You will have a great night. They have amazing cocktails as well. And we always go here. We love Chaplin's, so definitely check it out. If you head along the seafront to the right hand side, you will come across House of Illusion. The show is definitely family friendly, so it is something that you can all come to. Um, there's different packages available. On this occasion, we had a drinks only package, but they do also do an evening meal and show package as well. So definitely check those out. And um, there's also a bar as you go in, which has lovely views over the sea and also the old town, which is where we grabbed a cocktail before we went into the show. So I recommend that as well. Within House of Illusion, they actually have a couple of other shows running as well. On a Monday evening, they have a musical theatre show, which is absolutely incredible. They're super talented and I love musical theatre, so I'm sure you'll love this too, if you love all the shows. Um, and then after this, they have a bingo show, which is absolutely mental, but good fun and something for whole family. So do check that out as well.
Sulu honestly is a great place to come for all the family. I've been coming since I was a kid and I've come back time and time again as an adult because I absolutely love it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments box and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you are off on your holiday soon, I hope you have a lovely time.